Be not afraid. <laughs> that wasn't the end. I, uh, that, um, I ended the last transmission too soon, is what I'm trying to say. Where were we? Remember when I told you that Noah's boat ran aground on a particularly stony shore? It was a mountain. The group of humans set up a decent camp a safe distance below the boat and immediately began planning how to rebuild their community. Life would be significantly harder from now on, but there is hope and excitement in their eyes. One night, the survivors are sleeping soundly in their tents. Except for Noah, who is glaring angrily into the darkness. He looks restless. He shuffles outside, stretching out his back. The makeshift village overlooks a completely different angle of the land they all grew up in. It's easy to believe they are far away from home, but they're not. Seeing that sleep won't be happening anytime soon, Noah lights a torch and goes inside to have a look at the cargo. Day and night, night and day, I can't believe I got myself into this situation. Ugh. Replenish the earth, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Stupid old man. We should have brought the machines. Oh, for heaven's sake, I don't even know where to begin. Well, let me see. Uh, there's uh, apples. No. Tomatoes. No. Ah, grapevines. <laughs> oh, sweet. Are we planting a vineyard? Who's there? All right, I'm in. Let's start with the Zinfandel. Show yourself. I I I've got a shovel, and I'm not afraid to use it. Whoa, 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 that's close enough. Stay back. Hey. Wow, you're a big one. How have you stayed hidden all this time? Shh, 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 shh. Be not afraid. I'm an angel. Yeah, right. I've met angels before, and uh, you're not one of them. See, that's where you're wrong, friend. Contrary to those idiots, I took the courtesy of squeezing into a meat suit. Check this out. Oh! Ah, ugh. Okay, okay, point made. Thank you. Uh, you can put your head back on now, okay? You're welcome. Name's Asmodeus. Why are you making that face? Not a word from any of you in months. No help, nothing. And now, once we've figured it out on our own, now he sends a messenger. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Nobody sent me. I saw you were having a hard time and decided to drop in all on my own. Do you happen to know Enoch? Regrettably, I know of him. Well, I want to talk to him. No, 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 no. He's hard to reach. If anything, he talks to you. Eh, at you. Well, what are you doing here anyway? I mean, doesn't your kind have more important things to do? Well, technically I have a seminar right about now, but it's just another rerun of Occult Safety 101. <laughs> yeah, I'll catch up. Seminar? Oh, look, regardless, this flood business was a grave injustice. I want to speak to someone in charge. Like, you know, your lord, uh, the almighty. <laughs> All right, look, man. How about we plant some saplings, have some wine, and talk about what just happened? Nope, no can do. We ran out of wine months ago. <laughs> I'm an angel. Do keep up. Uh, 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 careful, careful. Do you need me to take some of those? Nah, you hold on to your shovel. Wait, I... Sure, whatever. While Noah reluctantly follows the strange man down the hill, let's take a moment. Prophets, you've heard of Asmodeus, I'm sure. Prince of the Underworld, God of Lust, Incubus, or was it Succubus? I never can tell the difference. A menace is what he is. And here he is, all neatly hidden away behind a pretty face, leading my grandson astray. They walk down the mountain until they reach an open area next to a stream. Here, they make space in the dirt and carefully plant the grapevines. 
all in silence. After witnessing a mass extinction, it's nice to do a bit of relaxing gardening. As Noah is pushing the last bit of soil into place, as Modius gets up and brushes off his hands. All right, cover your ears. Why? Well, your exploded brains would be good nutrients for the plants, I suppose. Oh, stop! It's disgusting. There, I can't hear you anymore. No, 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 no. Noah's face grows pale as the ground below him begins to vibrate. He falls to his knees, feeling tears stream relentlessly down his face. Roots writhe and spread out under his feet. He gasps for air, but his lungs won't accept it. The ground forms into peculiar shapes as the earth is filled with the green veins of nature. And just like that, all his anxiety is taken away. A feather-like touch from a secure hand on his shoulder, and he can breathe again. Hey, my singing wasn't that bad now, was it? The ground! It was shaking. The world was ending. These memories. Hey, don't worry. You just need to talk about this. There's nothing to talk about. It still happened. Just take away all my sadness again. That was a temporary fix. It will come back, sorry. But it will go away eventually. Just as long as you focus on rebuilding and taking care of your family. Honestly, I'm not even sure we were supposed to survive. Maybe we should have just given up. I mean, this life, it's so... Hang on a second. What is this? Where did you just take me? We haven't moved. These are your saplings, all grown up. Look, we've got some grapes to pick and wine to make. Whoa, 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 back up a second. Picking fruit, making wine? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. That's women's work. Sure, woman up then. No funny juice for you unless you help. Fine, whatever. Oh, wow, they practically fall into your hands. This isn't so bad. So how did all this begin? Like, how did you know the flood was coming? Well, that's just it. I, I mean, I didn't. I had prayed for something completely unrelated, but only a living darkness answered. What do you mean? There are many who can answer the call, and not all of them are very nice. I don't know. I can't describe it. It was dark. It was death. I knew in my heart that it was death. Yeah, yeah, that's totally death. Small world. Go on, then. what they say? It sort of warned me, in a very tactless way, about a lot of people dying. And Noah tells his whole story. He talks about Samael, meeting me, about the rain, his family, the boat, the doubts from the villagers, while both of them are stomping the grapes with their feet. If they would have just listened to me, they could have all been here with us right now. But no, Noah, he's crazy. His entire family's crazy. Can't listen to a word he says. Oh, it makes me so mad. Yeah, God, fuck God, him. God, Use your God, anger. God, God, Tell me more. I, 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 I can't believe it. There, there. Hey, it's okay. That's enough. Those grapes are definitely dead. Here, take my hand. Sit down over there by the tree and I'll uh, do a little trick, okay? Noah waves him away, trying to catch his breath. His robe is completely covered in grape juice, a fetching shade of purple. The angel returns, triumphantly holding a generous clay pot and swishing around the liquid inside. How he fermented and decanted the wine within such a short moment is not something Noah is going to question right now. Asmodeus pulls out the cork with his teeth, fills up two cups, and sits down next to Noah. The absurdity of the situation is starting to sink in. Here he is, a survivor of mankind, abandoned by God, having a drink with this angel. Definitely a non-human, but maybe it's not an angel. Maybe it's some other yet undiscovered creature. So... Asmo Deus, 
if that's even your real name. That doesn't sound very angelic. <laughs> you don't sound angelic. Met many angels, have you? Oh, and fill me up as well. Why is my head spinning? This doesn't taste that strong. I can't fill my fingers. Hey, 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 hey. You'll die if you try to keep up with me. Die. Like every living thing did. And that flood. Be swept away by waves in a race like they were never here. I suppose that would be fair. This was all my fault. The flood wasn't your fault. If God sets your mind to something, he'll do it. Besides, you can still procreate. Replenish the valley, as you said. It'll be fun. The valley? What valley? What about the rest of the world? It's gonna take thousands of years. And what about the species I couldn't bring? They're all gone forever. Oh boy, you overestimate your importance. No wonder you're... Wow. Um... Okay, see that mountain range? It goes all the way around. So this was a very large pool, basically. Four billion tetraliters, rounding up. A tub fit for a titan. Listen, uh, I don't understand most of the things that come out of your mouth, wine man. But you have to at least try to explain that. I'm drunk and dumb. So keep it simple. Noah, Noah, listen, my man. The rest of your world, the Earth, is fine. You're just saying that. And even if it was the whole Earth, we always have the amoebas. Sorry, the what? I mean it. All this, itty bitty flood, huge valley. So huge, you can't see it's a valley from down here. Super local catastrophe. You're really sure? Yes. Your world is, yeah, it's fine. It's bigger than you think. <laughs> hey, that reminds me. I was off partying in um, uh, that away. They seem perfectly fine. I don't think anything has been made like uh, extinct. Uh, let me go check. I don't, whoa. I'm back. Whoa. So, okay, so I took in the, <clears throat> uh, in the, oh, uh, things and books in heaven. Records, records, stupid languages. Anyway, you're gonna love this. Not much is extinct at all. Just one strain of, nothing compared to how much will become extinct, uh, but don't, don't worry. Many more species will emerge too. So I, didn't fail? Sure. Still a lot of deaths, but nothing you won't recover from. <laughs> More wine? Why, yes! Here's to the earth, then. They stay up the rest of the night, drinking, debating, and laughing. By early morning, Noah feels the earth spin and his eyes cross. Don't your kind sleep. I mean, I'm not trying to chase you off, but I'm really, really tired. No, come on. You were saying something about grass. I have to hear this. Yeah, I, I like the idea of, you know, how grass is greener. On the other side? Let me finish. Damn, boy. Go on, youngster. Shut up. Oh, where was I? Oh, ah, yeah. the grass is greener on graves because of the dead bodies. Nature eats that right up as, uh, yeah, as nutrients. As mm, nutrients? As nutrients. <laughs> and it's like, you always have to leave something behind in order to grow. And we have left tons of stuff behind. A huge hole to fill. Lots of growing to do. <coughs> you know, you make me wonder if you're ever gonna grow up. As I was saying, uh, lots of growing to do. Not just, you know, vineyards and stuff, 
but all of us as people, it's long overdue. It should have happened before God's patience ran out. Yeah, see, you'll be fine. You're right, though. <laughs> it is very green out there. <laughs> hey, Noah. What? Your village didn't die for nothing. This wine turned out great. <sighs> to buried villagers and past friends. Oh, I don't feel so good. <laughs> I told you not to try and keep up with me. Aw, we drank it all. This was the strong stuff, too. Und <clears throat> und und undiluted wine. Ooh, we should, we should, uh, we should maybe slow down. You hear, you hear me? Ah, uh, what an idiot. Yep, I don't know what I expected. Let's get you home, young man. Noah, Noah, Noah. Your hangover is gonna be ridiculous. Uh, mine too. Here, let me ease that fall for you. That's weird. Damn it. Can't remember the last part. Ah, sorry, dude. I forgot the words for this one. So, best I can do is get you back in your tent. <sighs> there we go. You did good, Noah. You'll be fine. There will be far worse people than you. Sleep tight! Asmodeus glances back down toward the vineyard. He smiles and vanishes without a trace. I do believe he was heading for Assyria thousands of years from now. But that's no business of mine. I'm just relieved Noah wasn't on his list of conquests. It is interesting, though, how such a small encounter can turn someone's life around. It's these little things that have the power to push the wheel of destiny into a whole new direction. The wings of a butterfly, a shared wine bottle, or a personal sigil getting into the wrong hands. But no matter what destiny throws at you, always remember, be not afraid. Be Not Afraid is created by Rebecca Hansson and Tommy Holmberg. Guest voices in this episode were Doug Daly and Victor Tran. You can find out more about the show on our website, metatronspeaks.com, where you can read episode transcripts and find us on social media. We hope you enjoyed this episode as much as we enjoyed making it. Here are a couple of free things you can do to support us. Rate and review us on your podcatcher of choice, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. Want to be the first to hear new episodes? Check out patreon.com slash metatronspeaks. A special thank you to this episode's beta readers, Cat Bayous and Sodium Aside. And thank you, prophets and entities, for listening.